Oh my god, there okay, he is. Here we okay, go. there he is. Here 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 he is. If I can I get a collie in this pool, please? Oh, f***ing hell, nah. Can I get one collie? <laughs> <laughs> I hate this game! There he is! That's another 50-51 on a character that I don't even want. Excuse me, shut up. Hi cuties, I'm Etsuko and today we're going to talk about our favorite fox boy, Tinari. He is the first 5 star Denver unit to appear and he's ready to be showcased by your favorite fangirl. Tinari is the forest watcher overseeing the Avidya forest and if you run into him he is ready to help but expect a lecture if he catches you doing some forest shenanigans. Tinari is a bow user mainly focused on single target DPS and deals the most damage with his charge shots. He blooms best with Dendro reactions. With his normal attack he does 4 single shots and goes pew pew pew. Yeah. As we know, charge attacks are aim shots, but listen up class, Tinari aim shots are a little bit different. It not only has one stage, but two. At stage 1, he fires off an arrow carrying the power of Laura and dealing dendro damage. On stage 2, he fires off a reed arrow that also deals dendro damage. Upon hit, the reed arrow will create 4 cluster bloom arrows that will track nearby opponents automatically and deal dendro damage. Lastly, you also have a cookie cutter plunge attack. Not only does he deal single target damage, but for his elemental skill he inflicts AoE dendro damage, adding a little spice to his kit. Tinari throws a Vidnana Stormheart in front of him, creating a Vidnana Kanda field that sends enemies within the AoE into confusion. Keep in mind that bosses and bishops are not affected. <laughs> Furthermore, he gains an effect called Vidnana Penetrator, which will decrease the Wreath Arrow's charging time by 1.5 seconds. This effect will disappear once the skill duration is over or after Tinari has fired 3 Wreath Arrows. His elemental burst, Fashioner's Tanglevine Shaft, combines the power of all seeds to fire 6 Tanglevine Shafts that can track enemies and deal dendro damage. After they hit, the Tanglevine Shafts will create a secondary wave of Tanglevine Shafts that can also track enemies and deal dendro damage on hit. At the first ascension, he gains his Gullery Blade, granting his charge attack and Fashioner's Tanglevine Shaft 0.05% damage increase for every point of elemental mastery Tinari possess. The maximum damage bonus is 50%. For the fourth ascension, he gains Keen Sight, which increases his elemental mastery by 50 for 4 seconds after he fires a Reed Arrow. His utility passive Encyclopedic Knowledge displays the location of nearby resources unique to Sumeru on the minimap. Moving on from his passive skills to his constellations. Starting with the first constellation. His D1 will increase his charge attack crit rate by 15%. Moving on to the second constellation. When there are enemies within the Vidnana Kanda field created by his elemental skill, Tinari gains 20% dendro damage bonus. This effect will last up to 6 seconds or until there are no more enemies within the field. When his elemental burst is released, all party members gain 60 elemental mastery for 8 seconds. If the burst triggers any of these dendro reactions, burning, bloom, aggravate or spread, the elemental mastery will be further increased by 60. If one of these reactions is triggered, it will refresh the buff's duration. Wreath arrow charging time is decreased by 0.9 seconds and will produce one additional cluster bloom arrow upon hit. This boy is gonna be speed at C6. For Constellation 3, his elemental skill level is increased by 3. And for C5, the burst skill level is increased by 3 as well. Okay, so let's talk about how I play this fox boy. First of all, the weapon of choice would be the new 5 star bow, Hunter's Path. I was, of course, lucky enough to get a first try, just kidding, the power of wallet. Oh no. There we oh, go, there think? we go. Oh, fuck it, be. please be the bow. Please be the bow. For once, I want a bow. No! Come on. Okay, a bow. Come on, bow. Is this Come a sign? Bow, no! 
Really? Yay! Here we go. Got it. First try, everybody. First try. Mm -hmm. This is also. <laughs> this Yay! is also. <coughs> Yay! This is the same as the whole my incident. Shut. Of course, if you don't have it, you can also use Amos bow, or for a four-star option, you could also use Stringless. Of course, we're gonna build a main DPS Tinari because in this household we like the little fox boy. Okay, so let's talk about artifact sets. His best in slot artifact set is a four piece deep with memories or as a substitute four piece wondrous troop. On the sub stats, you want to focus on crit damage, crit rate, elemental mastery, or attack. On the sands, you want to focus on elemental mastery or you could also use attack. But since you want to focus on his reactions with Dendro or any other element, we're gonna use Elemental Mastery. And on the Goblet we want full Dendro damage bonus. On the head you can either use Crit Damage or Crit Rate, depending on which bow you have. If you have Hunter's Path you can go full on Crit Damage. If you don't have Hunter's Path you can also go on Crit Rate. As the main DPS, Tinari deals most damage with Dendro Elemental reactions. So for his team, we want to focus on increasing the damage of such reactions. I personally like the reaction quicken, so I'm gonna recommend the team that I would use. Of course, Tinari gonna be your main DPS, being your on-field character dealing the most damage. As your sub-DPS, you can use any Dendro character, for example Collie. And Collie would not only help by producing extra damage, but she can also resonate with Tinari for Dendro resonance. As a support, you could use Fischl or Yamiko, and they would enable Tinari to trigger Quicken while also providing energy and extra damage. As a healer, I'm using Kuki Shinobu. She can not only heal but resonate with Yamiko or Fischl for electro resonance. Of course, you could replace Kolei by any other off field DPS, but you want to focus on the Dendro reactions, so I would recommend using an element that can actually react with Dendro. Another support could also be Raiden, since she provides more consistent electro damage. As for the healer, you could replace Cookie with any other healer, but as said before, we want to focus on the elemental reaction, so you could replace her with either Kokomi, Barbara or Bennett. Lastly, for a free-to-play team, you could use Tinari with Lisa to trigger reactions as your support. For sub-DPS, you can use Kolei, since we get her free from a quest. And as a support or healer, you can use Barbara. So, this was my guide for Tinari, I hope you enjoyed and see you soon!